it's a little bit echoey in here at the moment. We're gonna have to fix that. But we have some space now to work on things. Ta-da. That's, um... Here, let me turn the camera around. All right, this is probably, what, 70% of the chairs? It's kind of interesting when you get them all lined up like this. I've got them spaced out between outlets. These all haven't been charged properly in about three months. So we're going down the entire list of chairs here and plugging them in. Starting with the ones that have good batteries and were low, and then also ones that have questionable batteries that were still okay, but really need charging. For example, this Quickie Pulse 6 here. I don't know how the batteries in that chair are still functional, but they are. And actually, it looks like we're gonna need to use a different charger on this one. It thinks they're already done. I've got a little five amp charger plugged into another one down here that would be better at this. Yeah, these batteries might require some recovery or actually replacement, I don't know. But this little five amp charger right here is really good for smaller batteries and recovering ones that haven't been charged properly and all that. I've got that plugged into the soccer chair right now. Probably about four months ago, I wound up burning the batteries on this completely dead. I, I left the fans on by mistake. But I got them recovered and I've been able to use it since then. But I want to charge it up slowly and properly because I don't want to ruin those batteries. But anyways, we have a workspace now. Super happy about that. Has electricity. There's an electric heater. I wasn't sure at first how that was gonna work, but I've had it on for like 20 minutes and it's already comfortably warm in here. In fact, I might turn that off, but we're gonna have to do some stuff for sound deadening here. I'm gonna have to put in my, wait, are these LEDs? Oh, these are LED lights. Pardon me while I just film the lights on the ceiling here. Yeah, if I turn the exposure way down, these are totally LEDs, sweet. I was just assuming they were fluorescent, but my eyeballs, but my eyeballs weren't hurting. Here, let's do a, um, a high-speed video and see what it looks like. Okay, we're filming at 240 frames per second now. We've got a tiny bit of phase, you know, what's it called, phase mis mismatch, but we're not getting a flickering. That just has to do with the record rate on the camera and these lights. Yeah, it looks a little weird, like I said. It, it's not like a 60 hertz flicker, but anyways, cool. I don't know how good the soundproofing is in here. I know I'm gonna have to put some insulation squares, like radiant barrier on this door. That's gonna help quite a bit. The door is brand new, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit of insulation on that door. I might also replace the front door. It is a steel door, but it's not like, the super high-end one, so I'll probably wind up swapping that out. And then, yeah, we're gonna have to add some sound panels on the walls or maybe hang some stuff from the ceiling. But the cool thing with this place is I can do whatever I want. So even if we wanna build like some sort of loft up here for heart storage or something, that's totally fine. Um, the floor came with a few little weird blemishes, which, what the heck is this? Oh, uh, I think someone spilled muriatic acid or something similar on the floor. It's kind of eaten away at the concrete, but yeah, anyways. Super happy to have this space. This is almost big enough that we could do power soccer practice in. I mean, not quite, but pretty close. Anyways, I'm gonna finish moving some more stuff. Okay, I've been hard at work. I've got everything, well, almost everything on wheels moved in here so far. We've got the test bench back there, a couple of carts full of tools. I should probably turn on the lights, but got a lot of the chairs in here and working on getting those all charged. But yeah, super happy. So it turns out that the length is enough that I could park the bus in here, but the door is not high enough, the roll-up door. I mean, not like I really needed a place to park it, but that's not quite tall enough. So anyways, I think I'm gonna go around and unplug all the chargers and uh, probably gonna call it a day. Yeah, guess I should probably be careful. 
<laughs> Someone I was chatting with on Twitter brought up a very valid point. <laughs> and now I'm dizzy. Do I look tired? I'm really tired. Anyways, I just wanted to post a quick video, let you guys know, yes, we got the warehouse. And it's probably gonna be a couple days before I get a regular video uploaded, because, you know, reasons. There's a lot of stuff to do in the next few days. If I don't want to get billed a whole bunch of money for the other places that I've been stashing all of my garbage. But anyhow, there you go, quick update. And uh, I will catch you definitely Thursday for the live stream. I don't know where that'll be. It's really echoey in the warehouse. I don't know if I can take care of it by then. I guess I could set up some sort of fort with a bunch of blankets and PVC pipes or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyhow, I'll catch you guys Thursday and uh, thanks for watching.